Baz, I'm such a fan of your films. I thoroughly enjoyed Elvis. Big congratulations to you. Thank you so much, Rohi. Right. Baz, uh, you know, when you start, I'll take you back. When you started the project, why did you think it was important to show it also from his manager's perspective and not just an Elvis story? You know, Rohi, um, I think of my dear friend, Amitabh Bachchan. And Amitabh, as you know, in my view, is not only the Elvis of India, but also the Marlon Brando of India. And I think, <laughs> right. I think that Amitabh would understand that behind every great star, there is always this issue of the business in the show, the right. art and the commerce. And when I think about that, it doesn't matter whether it's the entertainment world in India or here in America or anywhere, this relationship can be very, very good. But when that relationship gets unbalanced, right, it can be destructive, you know? When it's only about the money, um, it can be destructive. And, you know, I think that's what happens in this journey. So. You see in this story an amazing rise of stardom, but then you see the relationship perhaps bring it to a tragic conclusion for both of them. Now, that's almost like the plot of a great, one of the great Indian films, you know, whether it's right. <laughs> Sajit Ray or whatever it's been made, you know, or one of Amitabh's great pieces. Right, you know? right. And it's almost like you can't believe. When I started looking into this, I couldn't believe that the story of Elvis and the Colonel, it's Shakespearean, you know? Wow. In 42 yeah. years, if you were trying to write just an amazing, amazing made-up story, you yeah. couldn't make it up because, of course, there's a big twist of the character of Colonel Tom Parker played by Tom Hanks. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. You know, it's a great plot twist. So it's right. just a great story. Right. How did Tom and, you know, Austin had this amazing chemistry? Did, did you make sure they spend time and have this rapport? How does it work? This magic. Exactly what you said. You cannot, you cannot make that up. You cannot force it to happen. It's like a relationship. You might, you might, um, set up a nice date. You might make sure the food is great. You might make sure that the couple spend time together. You might lay the table, but you cannot make them connect. That has to, you, you have to make sure that you're very lucky. Because if they don't, you could probably still do it, but it isn't going to be the kind of magic that we right. see on screen between this young, new, true star yeah. and easily the Amitabh Bachchan of, <laughs> of, of America. And I mean, I, I, mean um, I keep talking about Amitabh, but I miss him so much. And I know the family's gone through so much. And I've heard from him not too long ago. And I think about him and I think about Tom. I mean, they are so very similar. Like the same way that Amitabh would bring not just his performance to the set, but also the energy, the inspiration and the wisdom. I saw that on Gatsby. He brought wisdom right. to the set. I remember seeing a moment between he and Leonardo and there was a quiet chat and I knew that Leonardo felt that he was listening to wisdom. And Tom wow. absolutely did that with Austin. Absolutely did that. It's so touching. It so rarely happens when an older actor is passing the baton onto the new generation. Right. Thank you. This was, this was like we're listening to wisdom right here. Thank you for entertaining us. You take care, Roy.
Thank you.